Namaste friends, this video is made considering the present pandemic that has plagued all of humanity. Coronavirus disease or COVID-19 is a highly contagious condition. Hence, it has become imperative that we learn more about this disease as soon as possible so that we are more vigilant and better prepared to manage this condition effectively. In this short video, we will discuss the oral manifestations associated with COVID-19. Can such manifestation be inaugural symptoms of this disease? Let's have a look. Apart from the more common presenting symptoms of COVID-19, which include fever, headache, dry cough and sore throat, evidence is now emerging to indicate that oral symptoms can be considered as an initial manifestation of COVID-19. Before we look into the manifestations in detail, let us first discuss the possible reason for such a manifestation. Scientists have found out that the novel coronavirus attaches itself to a receptor that is present on the surface of certain cells. These receptors are called as angiotensin converting enzyme 2 or ACE2 receptors. It is through such attachment that the virus gains entry into the cell, thereby infecting it, as shown in the figure here. Evidence now suggests that there is high expression of these receptors on the epithelial cells of the oral mucosa. This indicates that the cells within the oral cavity provide possible routes of entry for the novel coronavirus into the human body. Shown that these receptors are found higher in the tongue compared to any other extraoral site. These are also present in salivary glands. Thus, we can isolate this virus from the saliva of infected individuals. For a similar reason, the minor salivary glands that are present throughout the oral mucosa are considered to be alternative route of infection of this virus. Salivary glands are considered as potential reservoirs for the coronavirus infection in asymptomatic individuals. This suggests that COVID-19 transmitted by asymptomatic infected individuals may originate from their saliva. Next, let us discuss the oral manifestations in literature thus far. Here in Italy, in their survey, among 108 COVID-19 positive patients has reported that the most common symptoms associated are dry mouth and amblygestia. Amblygestia means diminished taste sensation. Such causes for altered taste sensation in COVID-19 patients can have many reasons. Often, it is associated secondary to dysosmia, which means altered sensation of smell which is also an initial presenting feature of COVID-19 infection. Apart from this, it can be an independent oral manifestation. This is because the ACE2 receptors are highly expressed in the epithelial cells of the tongue. As discussed previously, the tongue also contains taste buds. Changes in the quantity and composition of saliva can contribute to taste disturbances. The other oral manifestations reported are blisters in the labial mucosa, lesions like recurrent herpetic stomatitis, small multiple painful ulcers in the palate, and desquamative gingivitis. I will now describe a very interesting case reported in France. A 45 year old female presented with an irregular ulcer on the dorsal surface of the tongue. This lesion started as a painful red papillitis on the dorsal surface of the tongue. On day 3, she noticed a lesion on the toe. The lesion healed after 10 days. But when she was tested for COVID infection, she turned positive on the 8th day. So this case report indicates that oral manifestation might be an initial presenting feature of COVID-19 infection and must be looked into in more detail. The differential diagnosis for such oral manifestations associated with COVID-19 are 
Aster sulfus, erythema multiforme, which is caused due to allergy, viral infections like hand, foot and mouth disease, and herpetic gingival stomatitis. Treatment for such oral lesions are symptomatic. The most commonly used medications are hyaluronic acid and chlorhexidine mouthwash. Topical application of hyaluronic acid is advised at least three times per day. The patient is advised not to eat or drink for at least one hour following its use. Its beneficial effects include that it coats the oral mucosa, enhances tissue hydration, and accelerates healing. Chlorhexidine mouthwash is a very effective antimicrobial mouthwash. It can reduce pain, help the ulcers to heal more quickly, and prevent secondary infection. At this juncture, it is important to remember that the scientific community and the medical health profession are still learning about this novel coronavirus. There are many ongoing research projects that will reveal more details about COVID-19 and its oral manifestation in the days to come. I would like to conclude with an appeal to all to maintain social distancing and observe good hand hygiene practices, as these are the most simple but very effective methods to stop the spread of this infection. Thank you, dear friends. Stay safe and take care.